Greetings, college football fans. It's time for the debut edition of the Western Six Football Conference, a game between the BYU Cougars and the Wyoming Cowboys. Let's get right to the action. Wyoming core quarterback Rick Egloff starts the season right when he finds Hub Lindsay in the clear. Then end Jerry Marion is on the receiving end of an Egloff aerial. Then Egloff takes himself to pick up the Cowboy first down. Again, Hub Lindsay gets open. And again, Egloff finds him as the Cowboys near the goal line. Then left end Dennis Devlin makes a nifty move as Egloff rolls left, throws, and Devlin does the rest. Touchdown, Wyoming Cowboys. And the point after is good. So quickly the score is Cowboys 7, Cougars 0. But the Cougars are set to take over. Cougar quarterback Virgil Carter seems to stumble, but still is able to find Perry Rodriguez, halfback out of the backfield. And the Cougars are up and running. And Phil Odell gets open, and Carter puts it on the money for another nice gain for the Cougars. But the Cougar drive is going to stall as Virgil Carter suddenly misses a wide open Phil Odell. And then Odell is open again, but the aerial is wide, and the Cowboys will take over with little time left in the half. Here... Egloff finds Jim Kick wide open in the end zone. Oh, it's ruled incomplete, but replay shows it might have been complete. But that means we're going to go to halftime. Cougars 0, Cowboys 7. BYU will open the second half in ball control mode as Virgil Carter finds Phil Odell. The gain is short, but... It's an effective play. Then Carter rolls again. Finds wingback Casey Boyette. Then left end Dennis Palmer is on the receiving end of a Carter pass. Then Carter shows he can make things happen on the ground. No one's open. What does Carter do? Scrambles for the yardage, putting the BYU Cougars in scoring position. Then after a couple of incompletions, wingback Casey Boyette takes over. Here only for a short game, but next, Boyette wearing the wrong number today, couldn't find his jersey takes a nifty sidearm sling from Carter, and will he score? Ah, he's ruled down at the two. And then, in a risky play, Carter rolls, he's dropped for a loss. What now? It's fourth down, and who does Carter find? Casey Boyette, who could go all the way. Touchdown, BYU, and the point is good. And it's all knotted up at 7-7 seven to seven with very little time left in regulation. First for Wyoming, Rick Egloff rolls, finds out of the backfield, Dave Hampton. Can he complete the long pass? Oh, slightly overthrown. Then Egloff rolls left, but nobody's open. He's going to have to scramble for it. And... Nothing. The game ends 7-7 seven to seven at the end of regulation. The OT, one play from the 10-yard line for all the marbles. In another controversial play, Egloff will roll. We'll find Hub Lindsay in the clear. Complete. And he's ruled down at the one-foot line. Now it's BYU's turn. 
They need a touchdown to win. And guess who? Casey Boyette in the clear. Nothing but green. Touchdown. And BYU pulls it out in overtime. 13-7 in our first exciting Western Six football conference game. See you next time.